I'm Janush. I'm 77 years old, and I'm from, Pol from Poland, and I'm hearing impaired and mute. And I, I'm here living and working but, uh, in uh, NYC. I was born deaf, and as I grew up, as I grew up, I would, uh, in order to learn, just as an infant, I would be drawing pictures. My mother would paint pictures, and it was really all about pictures at that time. It was a little bit sad, but then what made me happy, my parents would take me swimming in the lake, and we'd go down and swim underneath and hold our breaths with, with my friends, and we'd t see who could last the longest, and we'd go looking for trees and seeing if there was uh, an apple up there. We'd climb the tree, pack up our, our, our shirts with all the apples, things like this, where we'd go with friends. So when I was in school, uh, uh, we uh, had a way of, uh, where we'd touch, we, 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 we'd have to uh, touch other people's throats to find the sounds. When I was young in Poland, uh, and we finished school, I thought about leaving Poland and studying somewhere else. So I wanted to do woodworking and film. So uh, those were my two ambitions. After school was finished, I, uh, uh, woodworking school, film school, I got a visa, and then I got a plane to come to America. Then when I came here to the U.S., it was all completely different. Here in, in the USA, they gesture, the gestures are different. You can't use the American in Poland and the Polish in America. I don't think I understood him when I was younger. My mom would kind of translate what he was saying to me, and I guess I would try to sign back or maybe I would just tell my mom and she would tell him. And then last year, I think I sp spent a lot more time with him because while my friend was learning how to speak to him, everything kind of clicked and I started understanding like everything he was saying. I, I just uh, create my own gestures. So at work, at work where I'm talking a lot, uh, I use the Polish and a mixture of American, it's trying to put them together just to communicate. So I got a phone call from a friend, a friend who was a boss working in film and asked me to work with him. So I came along and uh, I saw that he had the big machines for processing films and we would have to do a lot of fixing of those machines. We would test it on screen so there was no audio involved. It was just by sight. And that's essentially the job that I had. Polish people in America saw my resume. And they said, you want to work, uh, work, uh, do woodworking and fixing stuff? You want to, uh, yeah. So I, I ended up fixing, doing jobs where I was fixing things. So when I, I called up my friends who had hotels, I asked if you had any work, do you have any work? And in a hotel, they said, hmm, let me think. Yes, you could do the faucets, wash your hands, you could... Uh, fix the showers, um, but most also was the doors. The doors made a lot of noise, and uh, it was always a problem. So they asked me to come and fix it, and it was a door that made noise. Of course, I can't hear. So what I had to do was hold the door, and and as I was I hold it like this, and the hinges would creak, but I could hear it in the vibrations of the door, and I thought, mm, okay. So I just got to fix that hinge because it, I I felt the vibration. And I had to correct the orientation of the door. My, my boss calls me on the phone. He calls me on the phone, sends me video messages. He, he, he shows me what he's doing. Th then I, I see that he wants something, so I go over. I can figure it out very easily, get a new piece for whatever. And, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm better than everyone else. I'm older. <laughs> I don't have to beg. I, everyone knows that my work is good. <laughs> it's not that hard. Um, it's not like we can't speak to each other. I think it's just um, becoming creative in the ways that you communicate with your hands. Well, I mean, he's lived with my mom since, like, I don't even know when. It's just he's always been there. So as of now, like, we all kind of consider him family since he's always there. With everyone that I know, everyone knows how to talk with me. I never thought my disability would get in the way and make me sad. It, it, I was happy, just like all my friends were, were. And we did everything together in the same way, with all my friends and family. We all learned to talk. 
and that made me feel normal and happy and the same as everybody else. Yeah, I have a lot of friends just like everyone else. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday to you